biography and short story that was written by Lope K. Santos. Lope K. Santos was born on September 25, 1879. He was a Filipino Tagalog language writer and former senator of the Philippines. He is best known for his 1906 socialist novel, Banaag at Sikat, and to his contributions for the development of Filipino grammar and Tagalog orthography. Lope K. Santos was born in Pasig province of Manila, now a part of Metro Manila. His father's name is Ladislao Santos. He is a publisher and a native of Pasig. His mother's name is Victorina Canseco, a native of San Mateo. Lope K. Santos was raised in Pandacan. His father was imprisoned during Philippine Revolution because of Spanish authorities found copies of a Sarasal's Nolimitangere and the Amkalaya in his possession. Santos was sent to Escuela Normal Superior de Maestros, or Higher Normal School for Teachers, for education and later finished schooling at Colegio Filipino. During Philippine Revolution of 1896, Santos joined revolutionaries. By the time of the death of his mother, she requested Lope to marry Simona Salazar. Marriage happened on February 10, 1900, and they were blessed with three children, namely Lakambini, Luwalhati, and Makaaram. He pursued law at the Academia de la Jurisprudencia, then at the Escuela de Derecho de Manila, now Manila Law College Foundation, where he received Bachelor of Arts degree in 1912. In late 1900, Santos started writing his own newspaper, Ang Kaliwanagan. This was also the time when socialism became an emerging idea in the world ideology. When Jose Maria Tuminador Gomez was charged and sentenced by the Supreme Court of Sedition and Illegal Association against the government in 1903, Gomez's labor group Union Obrera Democratica Filipina, or Philippine Democratic Labor Union, was absorbed by Santos. The group was renamed as Union del Trabajo de Filipinas but was later dissolved in 1907. In 1903, Santos started publishing fragments of his first novel, Benaag at Sikat, From Early Dawn to Full Light, on his weekly labor magazine, Muling Pagsilang, The Rebirth, and was completed in 1906. When published in book form, Santos' Benaag at Sikat was then considered the first socialist-oriented book in the Philippines that expounded principles of socialism and sought labor reforms from the government. The book later became an inspiration for the assembly of the 1932 Socialist Party of the Philippines and then the 1946 group, Book Balaha. Santos became expert in Dupluhan, a form of political debate during that time. Dupluhan can be compared to Walagtasan, which became popular half a century before Santos' time. He also founded Sampagita, a weekly lifestyle magazine. In early 1910s, he started a campaign to promote a national language for the Philippines, where he organized various symposia and lectures and headed numerous departments for national language in leading Philippine universities. In 1910, he was elected governor of the province of Rizal under the Nacionalista Party. In 1918, he was appointed as the first Filipino governor of the newly reserved Nueva Vizcaya until 1920. Consequently, he was appointed to the 5th Philippine Legislature as senator from the 12th senatorial district representing provinces having a majority of non-Christian population. He was the primary author of Philippine Legislature Act No. 2946, which enacted November 30 every year as Bonifacio Day, honoring Andres Bonifacio. He resigned from the Senate in 1921. In 1940, Santos published the first grammar book of the national language, Balarila Nawikang Pamatsa, or Grammar of the National Language, 
which was commissioned by the Surian ng Wikang Pabansa, or SWF. The next year, he was appointed by President Manuel Alquizan as director of SWF until 1946. With the Philippines became a member of the United Nations, he was selected to translate the 1935 Constitution for UNESCO. He was also appointed to assist for the translation of inaugural addresses of President Jose P. Laurel and Manuel A. Rojas. In early 1960s, he underwent labor operations due to complication. Santos died on May 1, 1963. A tale of love and loss set against the rising tide of socialism in the early years of the American occupation of the Philippines. Lope K. Santos' novel, Panaag at Sikat, is a love story framed as a political tale. Published in 1906, it was later hailed as Asia's failed proletariat novel. It revolves around Delphine, a poor man in love with Minnie, a capitalist's daughter. Delphine is a socialist where Felipe, his friend, is an anarchist. Delphine wants the citizens to have more rights in business and property relations. He believes that society could be changed through education. On the other hand, Felipe believes in tearing down society's walls. Factories should be owned by those who work there and land owned by those who till it. Panaga Sikat mirrors the clash of forces during the American Empire in the Philippines. Its burning passages on race, class, and colonialism still resonate today. Translated by one of the Asia's best writers, it is thought that this modern rendering will inspire new readers to shape their lives so they can change the world.